Engineer 775 wanted to talk to you about a um, program for farmers and a lot of farmers are preppers or a lot of preppers want to be farmers or something like that but there is uh, resources available through the NRCS and uh, I know there will be a lot of uh, anti-government uh, uh, comments but uh, please please try to refrain um, there's a program called EQIP e -Q -I -P, that um, allows for a better um, use of your land in terms of keeping your cows your livestock out of running water that is uh, putting coliform and E. coli and uh, fecal matter in in the stream so it's this is a good thing to get your cows out of the running water and bring water to them they put on a lot more weight when they don't have to travel as far and uh, kind of like Americans but anyway um, gravity feeding your water uh, to the different pastures is is part of this program so it's a it's a conservation program for water to pump water from a well or a stream or a spring up to a, a tank and then gravity feed um, down to the entire property so I'm kind of standing on the knoll and down there is a solar panel and a pump we just put in uh, to pump the water up to the tank and uh, float switches and controls and everything's in. I also put a hand pump in there as a backup for this, uh, this uh, individual. Um, they've got a lot of water but you don't want the cows going in your ponds and eroding the banks. You want to keep them nice. Uh, you can put duck boxes and all sorts of things in here. So, and then fencing them out, you can put your beehives within the fence. And so we're going to fence out around the solar and the well. And so there's a lot to these projects, but they, they work great for years. And they're, you know, just using solar to drive the water to the top and then gravity feed wherever you want to put your livestock. And then you cross fence your, your pastures. Like this is way too big of a pasture. It needs cross fence. And that way you can rotationally graze, like move your cows every day, every other day, to a new paddock. And that maximizes your uh, photosynthesis, uh, maximizes plant growth because uh, they're not eating it down to the nubs, which you see in a lot of pastures. So anyway, um, you want to get the grass, the blade height up so you get a lot more surface area, a lot better production. So you end up being a grass farmer when you're raising livestock and this whole program works but the key is getting water it's always the key isn't it um, you need water and to do a good job with this and instead of doing an on-grid system I highly recommend uh, looking at an off-grid system and then the overflow from this can be used which you know eventually there's gonna be a house and a barn over here you can use that water for the, for that um, so alright I guess uh, I hope you have questions about this and uh, but the NRCS which is under the USDA. The program is called EQIP, E-Q-I-P. And uh, again, I apologize for my phone going off every two seconds. But anyway, um, dang. <laughs> um, that's it. I think I've hopefully explained it enough. And uh, appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, this is, again, a video to help any farmers out there or preppers that... Um, or uh, have a retreat location that qualifies as a farm. Make sure you check in your state what qualifies in terms of the amount of acreage before you buy a piece of property. And if you qualify as a farm, um, agricultural tax taxes are better, cheaper, lower. And uh, look into this uh, quit program. Email me or P PM me if you have any questions. All right, Engineer775 signing off. Thanks for watching. Again, it is uh, cheaper to store water than electricity, so part of the project is to pump water to a large cistern. This is a 2,500 gallon cistern, and we are up on the top of the property, and we will gravity feed down to all the waters necessary on this, uh, this is a 50 acre uh, location. And uh, so getting set up to water um, everything from cows to uh, your chickens, pigs, all your livestock, and, uh, and then garden areas he's planning on planting down below. So it's great to have um, the water. And even on today, like a day like today, you're going to pump 
hundreds of gallons of water and uh, so it's a great great way to go so this is part of the system you need a storage tank and uh, we haven't trenched the water lines in yet and but everything is designed and running the solar is working and then we'll lay that wire down in the trench we've um, tested the wire to be two to be able to be 2,000 feet from the controller so you can shut the pump off when this tank is full so that's another good thing to, to note so if you're planning and designing a system uh, at least with this uh, 2,000 foot is kind of is the limit and but that's that covers most properties to be able to get you from your well to the highest point on the ground on, on your property so okay here's the lower end now net the well and uh, again a great place to drill a well down here in the, in the bottom you get a better recovery rate typically this one's a little bit low but that's another neat thing with a low recovery well you when you're pumping water with solar you can adjust it or you're pumping like a tortoise in the hair all day long and uh, you can uh, deal with a low recovery rate well that is in how many gallons per minute it produces a lot easier with solar and then you've seen enough of these this is just a single panel 285 watt array well a panel module and a charge controller so right now I've turned everything off because the uh, trenching it's just too wet in this location right now to do the trenching so that's it all right another neat thing to um, think about when you're putting in your water systems for your livestock are these mirror fonts <laughs> mirror fount uh, they are they are expensive you have the floating balls come up here and the livestock adjust to it like instantly when they're thirsty and they push the ball down with their nose and they drink and uh, but these are a great way to keep from freezing but they are expensive little gizmo so part of a uh, NRCS project is to um, get your water set up there will be a concrete pad and then uh, around that pad um, there is uh, resources for gravel um, to keep this area from becoming a mud pit and uh, so you end up putting these waters in each and every uh, pasture or paddock and then we're gravity feeding to this uh, water.